today I am at this Scandinavian tiny home about three hours outside of Toronto, Canada. This baby is a little over 400 square feet total in the interior and it has an open floor plan concept and a lot of minimalist design. Then outside there is some string lights, a sauna, and a fire pit. I think this is the perfect weekend getaway to escape into the woods for any of my Canadian friends. So without further ado, let's not go and hop straight into the full tour. Welcome to this brand new Scandinavian inspired tiny home. It is set on two acres of land out here in Canada and it's all very private and secluded. But let's now go and get a little closer so I'm going to walk towards the home and of course one of the key features of the exterior is this huge fire pit. It's one of those fire pits that looks more like a cauldron and you also have these four nice Adirondack chairs and a few tree stumps around so you can put out your food and drinks and just relax next to the fire. Now for the cabin exterior itself, those floor to ceiling windows really catch your eye. More on them later when we go inside. And at night, this cabin really sticks out. I turned on all of the lights possible, both in the interior and on the exterior. And it's just all lit up and just really makes you feel like it's the perfect escape from normal life out here in the woods surrounded by all of these trees. Next, you have more outdoor space to enjoy with this big deck. There are two additional chairs and a small white table in between them. And if we then look to the side of the home, there is a small grill here so you can have a nice little barbecue out in the woods. Moving along to the other half of the property, this is near the grill and you have a simple picnic table and those two long lines of string lights. Now closer to the driveway when we first enter the property, you have one of those fancy barrel saunas. This is a great amenity to relax in and just enjoy after a long day of exploring the surrounding area. And after that, this is the back side of the cabin and also where the main entrance is. I love the black paint job and those two big plants. Finally, this is what some of the surrounding area looks like. The hosts are very generous and leave behind an Ontario Parks Access Pass for you, so you can go to any of the nearby parks for free. There's one a 10 minute drive away with activities such as canoe and kayak rentals, public beach access, and hiking trails. But now we are back at the cabin. I'm sure you guys are finally ready to go and see what is inside. So I'm gonna come to the back of the cabin again and go on approach. I will open up this door and it is now finally time to go and start the interior portion of this tour. We'll start off first in the bedroom, which is to your left as soon as you enter. There is a queen mattress here and also comes with 100% organic cotton sheets. So I slept like a baby when I stayed here. In this other corner, there's also a stool and you can open up this little cabinet, which has some extra towels in case you need them. If we look back towards the bed, there are these two simple nightstands on either side and two lighting fixtures above me that you can see as I'm sitting here and reading a book. After the bedroom, I'm going to walk over here and slide back this door, which is right next to the main entrance, and this will take us into the bathroom. I was quite impressed with how many amenities and nice items they tucked into this relatively small space. You have these two nice bathrobes, which should be great for the sauna. And there's also a very modern looking washer and dryer unit, which is super convenient to have during your stay. 
This is then your shower. It comes with some premium eco-conscious shower products. I also love the wood finishing along that back wall. And if you look up, this is actually a standing rain shower. So the water pressure is amazing. Finally, in this last corner in the bathroom, you have a nice rounded mirror and a simple sink with two extra drawers for storage. Above the toilet, there's a window that looks out into the woods. And if you look all the way up top, there is a shelf with some plants for extra decoration. Let's go to the last area in this home now, which is the living room and kitchen. Overall, the interior is a little over 400 square feet total, and it has an interior design with lots of soft, airy, neutral colors with light wood accents. They actually do have Wi-Fi all the way out here in the woods, and there is a comfortable couch and a footrest. If you look in this direction, you'll catch your first glimpse of the floor to ceiling windows. I mean, you just have a completely unobstructed view looking back out into the woods. I still have the fire pit going on out there. And you also have your indoor wood stove and some extra blankets in this basket. Still in this corner, there is a small dining table along with two chairs and cushions, and there's a little guitar. I'm not even gonna turn the audio on because I'm really bad at playing guitar. There's also a nice little welcome package that the hosts leave behind for you that you can see when you first check in. It includes a detailed guidebook with info on the surrounding area and on the cabin. Also especially great if you're here with your significant other, they left a bottle of wine and I've never seen this before. It was some very fancy looking water that was actually cucumber and mint flavored. For the final stop on our interior tour, I'll take the camera and pan over to the right to go and see the little kitchenette space. We'll walk a little closer and you can see a small fridge there down below and that you have countertop space on either side of the sink. But you do have really all of your essential cooking tools and utensils in this kitchenette. There's also an electric stove there on the far left along with more utensils and a tea kettle. And then closer to the sink you have all of your coffee and tea supplies and a few other items. If we look up top, you have this long shelf, and you know I love my kitchens when everything is out in the open. All of your plates and bowls, cups and wine glasses, everything is up there. And last but not least, if you look more to the left, you have this nice little spice rack with all the spices you need to do some cooking during your stay. Thanks for watching guys. The link to book this place is down in the video description. I hope you've been enjoying my Canada series, which we are going to wrap up soon. Be sure to check my channel for other Airbnbs throughout the entire country of Canada. Everything from tiny homes to A-frames to containers to towers. I visited a lot recently throughout Canada. So be sure to go and watch some other videos. Thanks so much for your support and I will see you very soon for another Airbnb tour.